I am going to represent the given a 7 digit number on the abacus. So, I am going to say 7 digit number 3734219 4. Here this 3 will become 1 spirit and these 2 will become 1000 spirit and this 3 will become lakh spirit. These 2 numbers will become lakh spirit. Here 73 lakhs 42196. How to represent the given um, given 7 digit number on the abacus? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Here, here it will 1 plus tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs. Now, here 4, in 1 plus 4 is there, 4 bits you have to draw here and here 9 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here, in hundreds plus one bit you have to draw and in thousands two, ten thousands four and lakhs three and seventy lakhs. So, like this you have to draw the abacus and uh, like this you have to represent the number seven digit number on the abacus. Now, I am going to draw the abacus you have to write the 7 digit number using that figure. Now, I am going to draw here. So, here I draw the abacus here, you have to count the beads. How many beads are there in one, one place? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 you have to write in one place and count the how many beads are in 10th tens, tens place? 1, 2, 2 beads are there. How many Bits are there in hundreds place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here in thousands 1, 10 thousands 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here in lakhs place there is no bits, so that we have to write 0 there. And in 10 lakhs place 1, 2, 3 bits are there, you have to write 3 in 10 lakhs place. According to the periods, you have to put commas once, tens, hundreds after comma, thousand, ten thousands after comma lakhs and 10 lakhs, you can read this number 30 lakhs 81624. Like this you have to write the number which is represented on the abacus. Abacus la representation than prakar manum ila numbers rasko also. Okay. Ikada number is the abacus la representation ali alaga abacus is the numbers abacus la representation number gura manum vey ali la kinda. Okay. And train your course books. Represent each of the following numbers on the abacus. Rewrite the numbers using commas. Also write them in words and expand it form. What you have to do? First you have to re represent the given number in the abacus first. Then you have to write the number and according to the places you have to put commas first. Second. In third thing you have to write the number name for that number. And fourth thing what we have to do, we have to write the expanded form for that. So, here four questions are given in one Roman. So, each and every number, for each and every number you have to complete these four things. Understood? I am going to explain the C sum here. Here how many digits are given in the question? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 digit number is given. In this 7 digit number first what we have to do, first question is, you have to show this represent this number on abacus. So, you have to draw an abacus here, here represent the places here ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs and ten lakhs in ones place six, one, two, three, four, five, six bits you have to draw. Here write six number also and next in tens place three is there, three bits you have to draw and write three here. In hundreds place 1 bit you have to draw and 1 you have to write there and thousands place 9 is there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 bits you have to draw and write 9 there and next in 10 thousands place 8 is there. So, 8 bits you have to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Write 8 here and in lakhs place 0 is there, no bits you have to draw and write 0 here. And next in 10 lakhs place 5 is there, you have to draw 5 bits here and write 5 here. And then go for second thing. What is the second thing here? 
write this number using commas and copy this number again like this you have to copy the number and then you have to write the places ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakhs ten lakhs and ones tens hundreds will become one period after one period you have to put comma and thousands and ten thousands will become thousands period after comma ten lakhs and ten lakhs will be lakhs period like this you have to write the number using commas after that next thing is write the number name for that so here what is the number you have to read this number 50 lakhs 89136 like that you have to write so third thing is you have to write the number name for the given number you have to read that number and write the number name for that number then go for the fourth one what is the fourth thing you have to write the expanded form for the number so for that same number you have to write the expanded form so write the number here 50 lakhs 89136 you have to write that and 5 in 50 lakhs you have to write the place values for each and every digit then you will get the expanded form you have to add the all place values of the given number then we will get the expanded form 5 in 10 lakhs place you have to write the 50 lakhs plus 0 is in lakhs place you have to write 0 for that and next 8 place value of 8 in 8 in 10000 so that place value of 8 is 80000 plus 9 in 1000 it will become 9000 1 in 100 it will become 100 plus 3 in 10s 30 6 in 1s 6 you have to write this is the fourth one so first you have to write the you have to represent the given number on the abacus first thing and next thing you have to write that copy that number again and then you have to put commas according to the indian place value system and third one is third thing is you have to write the number name for that and the fourth thing is you have to write the expanded form for that like this you have to complete the remaining sums and is it next now our to next topic is successor and predecessor so what is the successor and what is the predecessor successor means after number means next number predecessor means before number okay how we can find the successor for any number if we add to add one to given number then we will get the successor if we were subtract one to the given number then we will get the predecessor so already we have completed this in uh, iconet section this model sum i have explained now i am going to explain another example now i am going to take a five digit number 72496 so how we can find the successor successor means we have to add one to the given number we have to add one so we have to add one for the ones place number then we will get the successor so 72497 it will be if we add one to the given number then we will get the successor then if we add, if we subtract one to the given number then we will get the predecessor means we have to subtract 72496 minus 1 for successor you have to add one for predecessor minus 1 so if we subtract one from the given number then we will get 72495 will get so like that we have to find the successor and predecessor for any number understood